Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Well, hello guys, this is JPCraft here with a new series I'm going to be doing over the summer, Pokemon Platinum. And, as you can see, I'm using an emulator to play it, but that's just because I have no clue really how to record, you know, actual DS footage. However, I, I do have an actual Pokemon Platinum cartridge, so... Yeah, I... Yeah. Just keep in mind that I do have the actual game, I just have to play on emulator because I have no clue how to record it otherwise. Anyways... Let's continue on with our- let's continue on with the beginning of our adventure here. I do not need any info, Rowan. I've played Pokemon games before. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button in the middle of the Pokeball if you'd please. And out pops Vanilli. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Well, I'm a guy, Rowan. Alright, so you're a boy? Well, yes, I'm, I'm not a boy, I'm a guy. And my name, my name is... well... I would say JDP crap, but there's only seven character slots, so I'm gonna have to cut off one of the letters in the name. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's as close as I can get the JDP craft with it sounding both correct and with the limitations of Gen 4. Okay, so your JDP craft? A fun name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Rowan, seriously, how do you not know what either my name or this guy's name is? Well, keeping in, you know, tradition of like the actual thing, I'm just gonna name him Barry because I believe that's his canonical name. So, yes, his name is Barry. Alright, J.P. Craft, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokémon! And... I get trunked down... and dropped into the world of Pokémon. Pokémon are by our side, always. I hope you understand the meaning of those words. That was a comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Alright, first thing, I'm gonna wanna set my text speed to fast, uh, we can set the battle speed, and we need a fancy frame, type 14, I like. Nah, whoops. Alright. Well, nothing else to do but go downstairs. Oh. There you are! Hey, JD Peacock, did you just see the TV show you did? Professor Rowan's a really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means we have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if you ask him, I bet he give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right, we're going to Professor Rowan to get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, JD Peacock, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million. Well, crap, I don't think I have 10 million, so I better hurry. Mom, don't slow me down. I'm gonna be fine 10 million if I don't catch up with Barry close soon enough. JDP Craft, Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he was sure in a hurry. Mom, I need to hurry. Barry's gonna find me money, and I won't be able to pay off my debt to him. Oh, yes, yeah, JDP Craft, don't go into tall grass. Well, Pokemon might attack you. It would be good if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so, well, take care, sweetie. I mean, how am I supposed to get a Pokemon if I don't have a Pokemon, Mom? Understand that, alright? Anyways, we have some NPCs here in Twinleaf Town that we can talk to. Technology just blows me away! I mean, I can play with people around the world wirelessly. I mean... Yeah, you can play around the... The world with... Yeah, I mean... You can play... With people around the world... Uh... For the internet. But, then again, I guess I'm sort of thing back... Then, here, too. However... The Pokemon DS, um, servers kinda got shut down a long time ago, so, yeah, about that, Gen 4 and 5 don't actually have actual, uh, internet features. You can still 
play and battle together, um, like, locally, just not over the internet. Listen, listen, JPCraft, I want a cute Pokemon. What? Why do you say listen so much far? You Dobby. Well, yeah, I know you're not Dobby because this is a Pokemon, but still. Eh. It's true that a lot of Pokemon do attack people sometimes, but Pokemon also open their hearts too, so you can become friends. You're off to the end of again, right? You two sure are tight. Well, the only house left in this town that I haven't checked is Barry's house. So let's go in. Ow, that hurt. What was that about? Oh, hey, JP Craft. Hey, I'm going to Professor Owen. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Oh, hi, JP Craft. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I don't know who he takes after. I better take my bag and journal, too. Hey, JP Craft. Oh, we went on the road. Stay up at 5 for the late. Hey, wait for me. I'm not allowed to run yet because reasons. What am I even worried that prevents me from being able to run? Oh no, I'm too slow. Guess I have to pay him 10 million. Great. All right, let's go to Professor Rohn's lab. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter, I don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know wild Pokemon jump out when you go into the tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. And we just keep dashing, we get the sand from town for running into wild Pokemon. I don't think you're the sand spare, but if you run, it makes wild Pokemon more likely to appear, but okay. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes, on your marks. Hold it! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then, what is move going to the tall grass? Hey, Jay Peacraft, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They try to go into the tall grass because they want a Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? You two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Well, yes I do, Professor Rowan. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I'll ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. Well, both friends, how many times you love Pokemon? Right, JP Craft? Yes. A pair of reckless kids who fools to try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? There were always more people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... Well then, forget about me, but give with my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you. Very well then, I'll entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, it was promise you that you'll never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm, now where... Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong with that? Ah, there it is. Gone, nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? That's been hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, JP Craft, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown up. I have to show some class here. I don't think you noticed, um, Barry, but aside from the fact that at the Pokemon universe you're kind of forced to be like 10 or 11, I'm actually, you know, not 10 or 11. I'm much older than that, but sure, whatever you say. Anyways, here you are, our chance to pick a starter Pokemon. I just did a bit of research uh, before starting this just to check out the different stats of the, part of the starter Pokemon and, uh, yeah, you have three different choices, Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. Turtwig specializes in physical attack and physical defense and is the slowest of the three starters. Chimchar is the fastest of the three starters and specializes in both physical attack and special attack, but its defense is not really that great. Piplup is in the middle speed of the three starters and specializes in special attack and special defense. Now, why 
I actually uh, played for this game before um, earlier on my cartridge, and I chose I chose Turtwig because he was actually my first ever starter ever in a Pokemon game. Ah, crap! I just pressed A. Whoops! I did not mean to pick Turtwig, but I guess I have a Turtwig now. Pokemon you've been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world, and I regard them much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see at my lab in Shin. Come see me at my lab in San Jim Town. And now we'll be on our way. But yeah, what I was trying to do was actually, you know, I was trying to pick like Piplup instead because, well, I just, of course, I'm just, even though Torterra's kind of nice and Torterra's the final evolution of Turtwig, um, I just, based on what I've played through on my actual cartridge, I don't think Torterra's actually the best starter, so, uh, yeah, I was not, actually was planning to like not choose Turtwig, but I guess I accidentally pressed um, the A button and accidentally chose Turtwig, so whoops. I'm sorry, please let me pass. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. <laughs> JP, crap, we got both got Pokemon now. There's no one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Well, yes. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come! JP Crap, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle! And here we are for our first trial battle against Barry. He picked Chimchar because I picked Turtwig, so he has a tight advantage over me. Because uh, Chimchar is a fire type, Turtwig is a grass type, and Piplup's a water type. Grass beats water but loses to fire, water beats fire but loses to grass, and fire beats grass but loses to water. Now we have two moves here, Tackle, which does damage, and Withdraw, which will raise our defense. Normally, in these rival battles, I just spam Tackle because, you know, I just don't see any point of, like, raising stats, and I'm more of a... I'm, how, when I play these games, I usually just use, use the, um, attacking moves, normally, because I just don't want to see a whole bunch of using some stats moves. Like, there's a few stats moves I use, just most of them I don't find a use, I don't really see use for, so, uh, Tackle. And crap, it's fast. Oh wait, yeah, of course it was faster. Chimchar is the fastest star and Turbo is the slowest, duh. So you see there, Turbo, um, Chimchar used a move called Leer, and that lowered my defense. Defense dictates how many damage you take from an attack, and so since he lowered my defense, I would take more damage if he were to attack me. However, I think, just, I think how this battle goes is usually they just like spam the status moves a lot until like either they, until yeah, I don't know why, they just seem to spam the status moves a whole lot, and I don't really know why. No way, we can keep going, this is where we hit our stride! Yeah, uh, Barry, uh, you've been spamming status moves this whole time, you're not even damaging me, although all those defense lowerings are making me a bit worried, because all it can take is just one unlucky hit for me to, you know, be defeated. So please stop spamming Leer already? I don't like this. Alright, he's down to red health. I think he'll take just one or two more tackles, and he's still using Leer. Trying to lower my defense all the way, eh, buddy? Well, sorry to say it, but you, that didn't work out in your favor. Flawless victory. And with that, I get my first level up. Turtle we greet at level 6. Play the defeated Pokemon Trainer Barry. What do you say? We ended up losing? Gee, if you get $500 for winning. Really? Ten million fine for me late, you only give me five hundred dollars? Seriously? How am I supposed to pay off that debt? What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. GP Craft, you can see Professor Rowan and they can properly fear Pokemon. This lab is in Sanjin Town, isn't it? And you have young Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, JP Craft put these on. JP Craft received a pair of running shoes. Now I can actually run around and not be slow. Going to Sanjin Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press the B button and dash around faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Oh, isn't that just nifty? Alright, let's go. 
time to head over to Sanjum Town and thank Professor Rowan. Oh, hi again, Barry. Too slow. JP Graft, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to still see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I just get idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. So for that, I run over here, Verity Lakefront. And for you to sign, Lake Verity ahead. According to legend, this lake is home to the Pokemon said to be the being of emotion. It's because of this Pokemon that people can experience sorrow and joy. Well, this is where Barry wanted to go, so let's head inside. Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's here, it even says so on the sign. What's going on? The flowing time, the expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep all you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, JPF, let's catch a legendary Pokemon. Did you hear that, JP Crap? That's a legendary Pokemon cry, that had to be it. Okay, there's no chance, let's catch it. Wait, what? You don't have anything on us. You know Pokeballs, POK accent D-balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon and take them around with us. Think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you know what he said, don't you? He said that this is Mad's life if we needed anything. Okay, JP Crap, I'll race you. First one to press a lot of Sanjin Pound rules. Right, I'm not losing this race, Barry. I already owe you a 10 million Poke Dollar Fun, I have to win this race. And Wild Pokemon Counter. Well, Beedoof appeared. Beedoof is your rev mill normal type Pokemon in the first sections of the game, so. Nothing really too special here. I'm just gonna use normal moves like tackle and to deal small amounts of damage. Shouldn't be too tough to take care of one. Ah, I got a critical hit. Now, critical hits. Critical hits actually deal more damage than normal. And generally, they you want them to happen uh, when you when you get them, but you don't want them to happen against you because later on these critical hits really do a lot of damage. So it's best to try and not get critical hits. But then again, you can't really control it. It's all luck whether they happen or not. All right, so we gain some more experience points. That's helpful. He's almost level seven. Let's talk to this guy here. Hi, I'm already got a Pokemon Mart. You know that a Pokemon self is measured by hit points HP? If Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If Pokemon's HP gets slow, you should heal with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. Unlock me go in the medicine pocket of your bag. Obtain the potion. Cool, I have a healing item. Alright, let's he keep heading on to Sanjum Town, and here we are. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Barry, do you seriously keep running into me every single time? Ugh. What with the... Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, it's you, JP Craft. That little guy, he's not so scared as much as he's... He's totally out there. Aw, oh, it doesn't matter, JP Craft. I'm out here. See you later. Wow, what was that? My friend sure seemed to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Well, well, look who's here. JP Craft, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, and just as if that Turtwig was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Eh, not really. I, I'm not really one for nicknames, and plus, it takes forever to think of. I don't want this video to be like five hours of me just trying to figure out a nickname. So, as of right now, I'll not give it a nickname. 
When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pugmon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Alright, there was a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Turek feels the same way about you. That's why I ask you to cherish that Turtwig of yours. I'm so glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. No, I just can't say it. Uh huh, let's move on to the main topic. What's something I want you to do for me? Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. That is what I wish to ask to give you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. You use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Well, honestly I can't because some Pokemon are only obtainable through events that either never occurred or aren't around anymore, but that, uh, sure, whatever. Hmm, good answer. That Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. JP Craft asks that you go over and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Is that one too? When you walked up route to a one of your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! JP Craft, your grand adventure begins right now! The Pokemon I met for some was a Piplup. If we would have chosen Pepple on our 2 one we have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyway, I'm done. I guess I have to profess to add pages to the Pokédex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I see a little heads on you, that's all. I'm mean, happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, JP Craft. Well, that's that. Professor Rowan, it's been nice meeting you and talking to you, but I gotta get going. My grand adventure, as you said, has begun right now, so I better get going. JP Craft? Ah, uh, wasn't it now, Professor Rowan? I have something good here. You should take this as well. That is a technical machine. This, that one contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches the move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is if you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh wow, I don't know Professor Tams. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, JB Craft, I'll like to mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. And here's your typical uh, tutorial telling you all about Pokemon Centers and Pokemon Mods and stuff that you probably know about after playing Pokemon like for a long time, yet every single game has this because of course you have to assume that every single game is a person's first game. And yada yada yada. This building with a red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. JP Craft, since you're not a trainer, you'll be able to buy m many kinds of merchandise. Don't mind about you. Oh, that's right, JP Craft. Don't you need to let your family know you're going to be helping Professor Rome with the Bokinex? You need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you, before you go, he'll be Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now! And Don's walking away. And now I can regain control of myself. Now I'm gonna run down here real quick. Now I'm about 219. This isn't really anything useful, but over here, we get a free antidote. We can't do anything else on this route because it requires Surf, which we don't get for a very long time, but at least we can pick up that free antidote early on. Now, if I go into my bag here, and with medicine, an antidote will lift the effect of poison from one Pokemon. Poison will deal damage every turn that a Pokemon has it, and will also deal damage on the field as well if it persists outside of battle. Yeah, it's a Bidoof. Well, let's do this, Tartwig.
And I get some experience points, and there we go, level 7. Uh, are you kidding me? Well, who's the other one you can encounter on this route? Starly! Starly is your typical bird type, flying type that you encounter early on. It's not a. Oh. Really? I missed a tackle? Actually, this is a good time to bring it up, but. If you go into our moves here and look at tackle, you can see here 35 power and 95 accuracy. That means that 95% of the time tackle will hit and the other 5% of the time it will miss. That means that I rolled the 5% miss chance, which really sucks. But yeah, continuing on, there's a bunch of different types. Some types are better than others, like I descri like described earlier, like the starters. Flying type is also good against grass type because, well, it, it's in the air. It messes with plants, I guess. I don't really know how to describe that. What? Seriously? A second miss? That's a 5% miss chance. I've got it twice already. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And Growl's lowering my attack, making me do less damage. And there goes the Starly. Seriously though, two 5% misses in one fight. Come on. That's crap. Anyways, we're back in Twin Leaf Town. And we better go talk to Mom like Don asked us to. Eh. Welcome home, JP Cuff. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. And with that, we get a free heal. What is it, JP Craft? Wow, Professor Rowan has to do something that big. Hey, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, no, JP, I got something you'll find useful. And we obtained a journal, something that's not really useful at all. Well, it's sometimes useful, but not really. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You've got you have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, JP got all right, all right by myself. So you go and enjoy your adventure. You experience new things and experience new sensations. It makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. What the kind of kind of Pokemon you've got, dear? And there is Barry's mom. Hello. Excuse me, is a little Barry here? No, no, he's not. Oh, they must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure. Then he bolted. So headstrong and reckless. At least want him to take this. Not to worry, JP. JP Craft will do that to him. Won't you, JP Craft? Uh, sure, I guess I have no say in this. Oh, really? you do that for me? JP Craft, please take this to Barry for me. Hi, JP Craft. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Well, my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Alright, sure. Let's get going. But before we get any further, I would like to actually save the game real quick. This may take a bit of a while to save. So just spare with me here. And there we go, I have saved the game successfully. Nice. Back on Route 201 I go. Off to Jubilee. Actually, hold on, do I have a map? Actually, uh, no I don't. Oh, right, uh, yeah. I remember now. Never mind. We don't get the town map yet. And more wild encounters, great. And it's not a beat -oof. All right, let's take care of this beat -oof. Get our 24 experience points, and we get to keep moving. Hooray! 
Or back in Sanjin Town. Nice. Anyways, let's head on up to route. Uh, 212. Two, I mean 202. Whoops. Not 212. Oh, I'd on. Well, that's right. GPF haven't shown you how to catch Pokemon. I'll tell you how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? And with that, Dawn encounters a Wild Beedoof. Give me an answer if I Pokeball. No, I'm pretty sure you can lower its HP more. Pokemon, the yellow HP values are so hard to catch. At least, the yellow, at least lower it to yellow HP. Also, how is your pet up not getting the single experience point? Good job, Don. You caught a Beedoof. That's level 2. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because the puffy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, but they're also easy to catch if you make them sleep or something by using Pokemon's move. And thank you, Pika. If you start, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Thank you, Don. But I don't want to get to use them this episode, actually. Because I think this is about a good time to end the episode. If you have lots of Pokemon fuel, you'll be safe on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having Pokemon friends along. Okay, it needs to get going. Bye now! But anyways, as I said, this is a good point to end the episode, so thank you guys for watching. This has been JP Craft with the first episode of my new Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.